Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you a tool called as Annotate AI which has been developed by the same team behind TXT AI which we have covered on the channel previously. This tool Annotate AI seems quite useful as it helps to clarify and elaborate on complex concepts discussed in various papers. This tool, Annotate AI, enables you to automatically annotate papers using LLMs. While LLMs can summarize papers, search papers and build generative text about papers, this tool focuses on providing human readers with context as they read. If you have ever gone through a lot of papers in the part of your research, you will appreciate this tool because it makes it really easy to understand the material by highlighting key concepts and sections. Annotate AI facilitates comprehension and reduces the time spent trying to decipher difficult passages. Also in general, annotation enables researchers to quickly identify the most pertinent, relevant and important information in any given paper. This saves time and effort that allows researchers to focus on analyzing and building upon the existing knowledge. It also facilitates knowledge discovery by making it easier to search, retrieve and co connect related information across different papers and sources. This really leads to a more efficient and effective knowledge sharing process. We are going to install this annotate AI locally and then we will see how it works. Also the way it works is quite simple. All it does is you give it a paper, it reads that paper with the help of LLM, it finds a title and important key concepts in it and then it sifts through each paper, finds sections that best emphasize the key concepts and then it reads a section and builds a concise short topic and then it annotates the paper and highlights those sections. So let, let's get it installed and then we will see how it works. First up, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. Now, first up, Let's uh, use a Docker because that is one of the recommended ways of installing it in my opinion. You can install it with through paper and other stuff but I think this is the best way of doing it. It's really hassle free so I have a recent version of Docker installed. If you don't know how to install Docker, please search my channel. I already have covered it in very very simple to follow instructions. Also, if this is the first time you're running Docker, make sure that you set the permissions on your Docker socket file. And then in order to download, build and run this annotate AI, all you need to do is to run this Docker command. It downloads the Docker images, then it builds it and then it runs it. So let's wait for it to finish completing it. The size is I think in this image uh, format is around 4 gig or so. Also make sure that if you have GPU on your system, which I would highly recommend you do, then do dash dash GPUs is equal to all. And then you can access it when it is all done at port 8501 on your local system. And the Docker images are downloaded. Now let me run it in the local host. And the first time when you run it, it takes a bit of a time to initialize the application. And that time is quite, uh, I would say, prolonged because I have seen it taking around five minutes. Uh, I think it runs the Docker images, creates a container first time and then downloads the uh, model and that sort of stuff. Anyway, let's wait for it to get downloaded. And one more thing is that you can integrate with uh, not only local models by using llama.cpp or llama if you are using txt AI or you could even integrate it with um, API based models. Anyway, you see that it is still initializing the applications. So, and that takes few minutes. We just have to be patient around it. And there you go, it is initialized now. And now it is telling us that either we could just give the URL or local file path or search something, or we can try out these examples. Let me first show you the examples which they have shared. So I'm just clicking 
here to select it it is now annotating that paper it is running at the moment i'm not sure how much gpu it is consuming so let's quickly check because model is loaded it is consuming just over 6 gig of vram i'm sure it is using some sort of quantized model anyway so let's wait for it to finish annotating and the good thing is that not only you can download that paper but also you can uh, immediately see it here in this web application and there you go it has finished annotating you can download it or you could just go here it is giving you the date and it has highlighted the key concepts and topic and everything there you go and it is telling you that what exactly that is very very nice you see it has also annotated it this is extremely useful if you think about it it is using the intelligence of our large language model it is all color coded you can browse through your paper you can immediately tell uh, which concepts are worth reading and then of course you can't fully trust it but still i think given uh, the intelligence of these llms this really makes sense amazing amazing stuff and if i quickly look at through this and this looks really cool because this paper is actually a very famous paper about rag this paper is when hardly anyone used to do the rag things anyway so you can also download the paper and you have your annotated paper now this is a very useful thing uh, to go through really good good stuff and this is the architecture of it which is also available on their hugging face page where extract annotate and highlight okay now if i for example let me give it a local path from my system I'm, i haven't tested it but let's test it uh real time so this is a uh, a local file which i have i think this is a file so this is a pdf file which has just got random data about myself it's not a paper it works best on the paper by the way so i'm just going to click here and then you see it is just doing some sort of embeddings for search let's wait for it to come back and i don't think so that it is working with the local files because once i press enter here it just says that generating annotations for this link which is i think uh, another some other web paper so i don't think so this is working with this one so i think this is what they need to fix it's a very new tool so i'm hoping that this will be fixed soon but anyway that is not even the use case which it is meant for uh, i believe the use case is for the papers which is quite good you can try out a lot of pdfs from all of these sites that's it i hope that you enjoyed it if you want to stop using it and if you want to clean up everything let me show you first you would need to stop all the docker containers so first thing is to stop all the docker containers and then once they are stopped you can remove them by running simple prune command let's wait for it to come back and let's prune everything including container images volumes and this is also going to tell us how much space it occupied so around over 20 gig of space it needed wow anyway uh, so now that's uh, we know now but everything is cleaned up which is good let me know what do you think about this annotated ai if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching